Two and a third innings, five runs, three of them earned. Let's hear from Corey Kluber about his second outing for the Yanks. Hey, Corey, how much of a grind did it feel like out there for you today? Um, yeah, I guess that's one way to, yeah. Um, you know, I think that their offense did a good job of uh, kind of lengthening some of the bats. I think there were a few bats, a few at bats where, um, you know, I got ahead of guys, kind of let them back in into the count. They fought off some pitches. So, uh, you know, that part of it was a grind, I guess. Uh, some some of the uh, base runners, of course, no fault of your own. But did you feel like your stuff was as sharp as it was in your first start of the season? Yeah, it's kind of one of the funny things about baseball. I actually felt better about you know the way I executed pitches today. Um, you know the way I felt out there. But you know, all you can do as a pitcher, honestly, is is try to execute pitches. You know, but once it leaves your hand, you know you got to flush whatever happens and, and move on to the next one. Um, so. You know, regardless of how good or bad you feel, I mean, I, I think that I, I try to take that approach no matter what, just going out there and, you know, move on to the next pitch and executing that one. If, if you feel like you executed at times, why do you think you didn't get the results that you might have desired? I think at times, you know, let them back into the counts, uh, probably maybe not as aggressive in the zone when I was ahead in the count as I probably would like to have been. Um, but, you know, there's there's going to be times throughout the course of a, of a game, a season where you execute pitches and, and hitters, you know, get on base, um, there's going to be plenty of times we don't execute a pitch and, and they're going to get themselves out. I think it's just part of the game. Thank you. Marley Rivera, please unmute. Um, hi, Corey. Corey, how, uh, how difficult, how does it affect your concentration when sometimes plays, uh, defensive plays are not made behind you? Again, like I said, I mean, I think that, um, you know, it's, it's easy to probably allow yourself to get frustrated, but I think that, you know, good pitchers are able to to flush that stuff and you know kind of focus back in on the next pitch I think that um, you're not going to be able to do anything to change the results of what happened previously so whether it's you making a bad pitch you making a good pitch things don't go the way you want them to it goes great you know I don't think it does any good to, to dwell on it good or bad I think you got to you got to move on and you got to get to that next one as quickly as possible go next to Eric Boland please unmute or is there one at bat or sequence in particular in that third inning that, that you'd like to have back? Um, I, honestly, when, when we're not allowed to to watch the stuff in game, I, I really haven't had a chance to, to go back and digest it um, to that extent yet. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, looking back on it, there's probably things that in hindsight maybe we could have done, done differently a little bit. But like I said, I haven't had the opportunity to go back and, and look at it all yet. Jordan Horbin, you're next. Go ahead. Hey, Corey, how are you feeling from a velocity standpoint at this point in the season? I honestly don't know what the velocity has been or what it was. Um, you know, that's probably the furthest thing from my mind. Uh, you know, I think that, you know, like I, like I mentioned previously, uh, I don't think that, you know, usually on April 9th, you know, my velocity tends to, to be where it is at the end of the year. I think that kind of build into it. Um, but that being said, I mean, I'm, I'm more worried about executing pitches and, you know, not allowing hard contact, things like that. Um, I think that, you know, the velocity is what it is. It doesn't, you know, there's plenty of guys that go out there and look at Rich today, you know, Rich, Rich wasn't lighting up radar gun and he, he pitched pretty well aside from a few pitches. So, you know, not something I'm worried about.